this video, we'll get to know 12 types of interactive content and see real examples of each one. Interactive games allow users to engage and interact with your brand in a fun way. They have a high potential to go viral and are very attractive to customers. And also, games can be used in different stages of the buyer's journey and for different channels. A great example of a game is this one created by VSP, a company focused on eye health and care. The purpose here is to find hidden glasses in each of the images. Besides being an entertaining pastime, it can also be an indicative of an eye health problem if the user cannot find most or some of the glasses. Throughout the game, you can convert in two call to actions by choosing to explore the plans they offer or by choosing to find the doctor. Quizzes initially became popular through BuzzFeed tests, mostly because of how lighthearted and fun their questions were. When they are creative and relevant for their intended audience, quizzes have a high potential to go viral and engage. You can use quizzes to entertain your audience, like most quizzes on BuzzFeed, but also to educate and test your users' knowledge on a variety of topics. A great example of a quiz is this one created by Sears. Here you can test your knowledge on washing machines myths by answering true or false questions. It is a great way to educate users and make them aware of the best way to use a product or service like they do here. At the end of the quiz, you can convert by scheduling a checkup for your washing machine. Assessments may seem very similar to quizzes at first, but they usually use a more formal tone and approach content with more depth. They are often used to evaluate users' knowledge on an important and or complex topic or to understand in which stage of the buyer's journey they are. A great example of an assessment is this one created by Scribble Live. Here you can assess the maturity of your content marketing strategy, which also helps Scribble Live qualify potential customers. At the end, they relate each maturity level to a different landmark, such as Big Bang, the Pisa Tower, and others. The user gets an answer but they also have the option to convert in a form to access the full result with more tips on how to advance to the next level of maturity. Ebooks are often used in content marketing strategies, mostly in a static format. Interactive ebooks, aside from being more appealing to users, are usually more effective in converting those users, since you can offer them a preview of the content before they leave their information which is what we call a gated ebook that has some of its chapters closed and some freed for users to read. On top of that, you can also collect data on how users interact with your content, which you cannot do after they download an static ebook, for instance. A great example of an interactive ebook is this one created by Hebu. It's made for small businesses and it offers tips on how to survive on digital marketing. Users can read the first chapter of the ebook before opting to convert and access the rest of the content, which not only works as to propel them to convert, but reinforces the construction of a trusting relationship between user and brand. After all, the user is able to certify he is leaving his information to consume content that really interests and that has real value to him. Videos are extremely engaging and dynamic by nature. Besides, they're quickly becoming a preference of a lot of users that rather consume content in that format. Interactive videos are even more inviting since they allow users to interact with the story and engage with the narrative in a practical way. They are great for brand awareness, especially on social media, and are also a great opportunity for applying gamification techniques. A great example of an interactive video is this one created by Disney to promote the live-action version of Mowgli. Throughout the video, you can interact with it and choose to see backstage scenes, information about different characters, 
comments made by the director, among other things. Landing pages are created with the purpose of converting visitors into leads, which means basically that a landing page has a simple but important goal, generate conversions through a CTA or call to action. And because interactive landing pages are more inviting and engaging, they often present better conversion rates. Just like its static version, interactive landing pages can be used for different stages of the buyer's journey. On the decision stage, for example, you can use it to promote a product or a service and provide more information to your users in a captivating way. A great example of an interactive landing page is this one created by DHL. Even though it is pretty simple, it is also inviting. It allows users to evaluate the benefits offered by the company, to see testimonials of other clients, and also convert on the option that better fits their scenario. Solution finders are often mixed up with a quiz or an assessment. That's because a solution finder also has questions with different choice options and then offers a results page at the end. However, this type of content has a very specific goal, which is to help the user find the right solution for his problem. With a solution finder, you can help a potential customer make a purchase decision in a practical, fast, and effective way. A great example of a solution finder is this one created by the company Purchasing Power. It was made to help users find the right laptop for their needs. By answering a few questions regarding how the laptop will be used, preferred operational system and other factors, the solution finder offers a suggestion that's best aligned with the user's expectations. White papers look a lot like ebooks, but usually contain a more technical or advanced content. They are often used to nurture SQLs, sales qualified leads. They can be a step-by-step -step on something more technical or a guide created to explain a complex topic in a more detailed way. By creating interactive white papers, you can make them more appealing to users and let them consume the content however they need it. The interactivity can help out with how dense or complicated a topic may seem and just make it more interesting, inviting users to engage with the content. A great example of an interactive white paper is this one by Athena Health. It was created for healthcare professionals to help them with patient engagement. Because it is divided by chapters, the user can go directly to the topic that he wants to read more about. On top of that, it is a very thorough material that reinforces the benefits of their solution. At every moment, the user can convert by choosing to download the white paper in a static format or by filling out a form to get in touch with Athena Health. Infographics are highly used, both in static and animated formats, to convey information in a visually appealing way. Interactive infographics, besides also having the visual appeal, allow the user to actively participate in the content. That makes it a lot easier to educate and engage your audience, and in some cases, even convert them. A great example of an interactive infographic is this one by Renda Rayleigh. It was created to share data of a research they made on connectivity, and it manages to do so in a simple, visual, and engaging way. Besides allowing users to interact with the content in various ways, such as through small quizzes, it is also possible to convert at any moment by filling up a form and downloading the full research it is based on. A resource library is exactly what its name suggests, the gathering of digital resources that are offered in a site or a blog. Its main purpose is to make it easier for users to find materials and content that can answer a question they have. That makes the resource library extremely useful and is strategic for market education and lead nurturing. A great example of a resource library is this one by Simon Tech. Here you can navigate through categories related to digital safety, 
to find materials that might answer various questions you could have on the matter. Inside each category are different suggestions with a brief explanation of each of them. Some are openly available and some require the user to convert in a small form before having access to them. You can, however, choose to convert for the whole category and gain access to all of its resources. And on the upper menu, you can also convert by filling a form to get in touch with the company. Calculators are a unique and special type of interactive content. Have you ever thought about showing potential customers how much they could save or gain with the help of your product or service? A calculator allows you to do it in practice. A user can calculate those savings or gains in a simplified way. This makes the calculator very strategic for the middle and bottom of the sales funnel. It helps you show how much your product or service is really worth to a potential customer. And it can also be used in other ways and for other moments of the buyer's journey. It can help users organize their budget, plan a recipe, among a variety of other things. A great example of a calculator is this one created by Sengage to promote the unlimited version of their solution. By filling a few information about the course you are going to do, the calculator shows how much you could save on course materials with Sengage Unlimited. At the end, you can convert by opting to receive your results by email or by choosing to go to the offers page to explore and know more about the unlimited version. Last but not least, we have lookbooks. Lookbooks are extremely visual and mostly used by fashion brands to present products and models for a series of pictures. However, an interactive lookbook can be used by companies of different segments who want to take advantage of its visual aspect to present their products or services. An interactive lookbook is highly appealing, engaging, and has a great potential for conversion. And it can even be used as a tour to help users better understand how a product works. A great example of an interactive lookbook is this one created by Salesforce to present their product for Outlook. Here, the user can navigate through a visual and interactive tour to understand how to use Salesforce inbox in his sales. At every moment and also at the end of the tour, it is possible to convert on a 30-day free trial of the product. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about the different types of interactive content. See you soon!